Hey guys, Zephanix here, and today we're going to take a look at the Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tengaichi trailer. Um, I think this one's going to be pretty good. Check this out. So, first of all, we're going to take a deeper look into it. Um, this one basically has what a lot of fans of the Japanese, um, excuse me, of um, Dragon Ball Z gaming has been waiting for for a while now. So, first and foremost, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Now, first of all, of course, Bandai Namco Games definitely here. Now, first thing we see is Goku with the tail, apparently. So, as you saw there, Goku apparently has a tail in the most weirdest place right now. But, nonetheless, he has a tail. That being said, though, as we do notice, Goku now is wearing orange with a uh, yellow shirt on now. Now, we kind of find that weird, seeing that he's usually wearing an orange with a, um, was it, orange with a blue weighted shirt on. At this one, exactly, he's not doing it either. So, we're going to go ahead and check out see what's going on. So, it's an entirely new Dragon Ball experience. Goku, once again, showing off himself. You know, graphics actually aren't that bad. You know, remember, this is supposed to go ahead and mimic the Japanese anime, but then supposed to make it a little bit better, making it look like uh, a new age Japanese anime, If you know. You know. So it, it does look pretty good. I mean, like I said before, it looks all right, at least. So first, we're introducing the hero mode, which basically, well, we'll see right here, allows you to create your own character and enter a bit different battles here. So basically, it does a character customization. Now, a lot of fans have been waiting for this for a very long time. And finally, what, we like 15 years at least, and finally they went ahead and um, decided to go ahead and show it off. So, without further ado, let's take a peek at it right here. Uh, first of all, we got hair. As you see here, it looks like the, each hair has a particular name, and then, you know, you got the hair. So, basically, this one is particularly um, bed hair, which, as you can see, plainly is Goku's hair. Um, I also want to make notice of something else here really fast. Let me go back real quick. Look at the hair. It looks like instead of having the hair... Like, before, Goku didn't have really good hair or decent hair. Looks like it's a little bit different now. Like, this particular one, you got actually goes to the side now. So, I thought that was pretty interesting. Anyway, so you got, um, like I said before, different names for the hair. This one's Mohawk. And as you see right here, it gives him a Mohawk. And you have the different colors that you can change the hair. You know, hair color one, then hair color two. Which is actually pretty interesting. And, of course, you saw right there, uh, they showed a different hair. Let's see if I can get it here. There you go. So this one's wild hair, which looks very similar to Super Saiyan 3. So, as you see here, you got, they got his hair going, um, excuse me, you got the character going here. And I also want you to take a peek right here. As you see right here, this character, you also saw the hair, the first color hair and the second color hair. Remember that before? The hair color one, hair color two, rather. As you see, it's black, but it then has a little bit of red. You know, that's pretty much the hair color right there. So that's pretty much it right there. And then, as you see here, is another character that he had made. Give me one second, let me just get back there. So as you see here, another outfit that he's wearing, the first outfits that we're seeing aside from the original Geese right there, is in fact uh, a fusion outfit. Doesn't look like he's doing fusion to get it though. It looks like he was automatically able to put it on. So now we have another character here, and this one is particularly another created character. He looks like a pale version of Broly. Um, this one seems to have long hair and the outfit just like Broly, just not as big as him. Fair enough. Um, so now for the more deep into the character cre creation here, as you see, you can customize and unique your own character, um, you know, using different outfits as well as hairstyles. As you see, this hairstyle now says trunks um, hair, which allows you to get trunks or uh, rock lee, depending on how you look at it. But yeah, definitely got the bold color hair right there. And as you see, color hair right here, the first color gives you hue, saturation, and brightness. So it gives you the ability to really customize your character's hair, not just choose from different colors. And as you see, as I play it, the color will modify as he brings up the brightness. See it right there? So, And as you, as you see, it zooms in when you're editing a certain um, certain area right there. So it's actually pretty good. Um, something I just want to point out here. So you see hair. Uh, you see base color. Now, I noticed that. That's actually pretty interesting. Now, of course, base color, obviously, you can change it um, to whatever you want to do. Chinese, Japanese, Caucasian, African American, whatever you want to do. But I'm, I'm guessing it's also designed to be maybe uh, alien as well. So, we definitely have to look into that. Um, however, I have not seen no, aside from saying, no proof that there is no alien. So, that's just basically speculation right there. I also want to point out right here, it says, um, Costume Normal Uniform 1. Now, um... As you see right here, normal uniform one, pretty much, as you see, there is no other way to go ahead and change it any way, you know, you don't see any kind of way to modify the top or the bottom so far. So as you see here, this is obviously the whole exact thing. So this is obviously um, normal uniform one consists of the shirt, um, the actual uniform, and the boots right here, you know, possibly the tail as well. I'm not seeing anything about the tail. So 
as you see here though once you choose a costume you get to modify the different colors of the different things here but something else i want to um kind of point out right here is the logo mark as you see it says turtle which you look right here this is the turtle mark right here but obviously you can change your mark so you can change it to the red ribbon army uh i believe goku had kai later on and different things like that so May, you know, that's something definitely you want to go ahead and represent, you know, maybe you want to represent the old school Goku and his clan or represent Goku when he finally learned from King Kai or whatever they want to do, you know. You also have the scouters. You can actually have your character wear a scouter or not wear a scouter. Um, as you see here, here's another close up of the character right here. Uh, like I said before, it actually looks pretty decent on here. As you see the turtle um, symbol right here. You also see he has his, that he has a scouter. That being said too, take a look over here. Uh, you have two different things right here that looks like scouter glass, um, well, scouter glass right there, if you will, whatever you want to call it. At first, I originally thought that because you were the scouter, it gives you the ability to scout the other person's um, attacks and whatever. But if you see here, this is actually him. So I'm not exactly sure what that is, um, just of yet. Maybe that's your own special tax. We're not sure just yet, but we'll, um, when we find out, we will take a look. Now, here's apparently where you get to set your skill sets at. Now, you've got free skills over here. Uh, it looks like he has uh, plus two health, plus five health, and plus uh, three melee attack. You guys are used to this right now um, due to the fact that, um, uh, what is it, um, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi 1, 2, and 3 actually had the ability to go ahead and add this. So um, Not only that though, but now you have the ability to go ahead and modify your own um, aura right now. So you got Earth Warrior Aura, which is, I believe, white. Um, Good Scene Aura, which I believe is white as well. Um... Pure Blood Saiyan Aura, I believe is purple. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's purple. Uh, then you got Super Saiyan Aura, and you got Super Saiyan B Aura. Now, the one thing I also want to bring up is this. Um, I do believe that depending on, um, it might be this, I'm not sure, but depending on which aura you choose is the um, color of your attack. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not 100% sure. I will say this, though. Um, if you guys remember, uh, most of the attacks that was done by um, Vegeta at the, well, could it be? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not going to dig into that right now. Uh, but you do get to modify your own aura. So um, I want to go ahead and keep it going here. As you see here, you got um, all the auras here. Um, Super Saiyan 1, um, Super Saiyan Aura B, Super Saiyan 2 and 3, and of course 4 is right below there. Uh, but then I also want to show you this. Now it says right here. As you see right here, it says Master Skill right here. So, and, and right now, we just moved down from here to here, which is the action skill. So, I'm assuming, as you, you will see next here, um, you will see that, you know, you got to choose between Yamcha, Goku, whatever. And as you see, he's just getting off Yamcha. So, what I'm thinking is this. I'm thinking that you get bonus here, which are three, uh, three bonuses right here. But then, you get an additional bonus based off of which skill set you actually use. Now, it also says percent mastered. So, it might mean that not only do you get a skill set right here... But the skill set will actually go ahead and enhance over here as well, depending on which skill set you're actually using. So in other words, you get a bonus. Well, you get your actual skill set here, which actually levels up. And then you actually get your skill set again here for extra bonuses, which actually is pretty cool. And then, of course, as you see here, you get to modify which skill type you want to do. Now, originally, I thought that that meant that, you know, your super power, you know, not super powers, but your super abilities, such as the Kamehameha, um, um, whatever other moves out there, you know, Masen Masenko, all those moves were basically based off of that, but apparently not, because if you see here, right under customized skills, you have customized supers, so apparently, yes, supers um, can be modified in here, I'm not so sure how much um, they can be modified as they are, do not show in this particular trailer here, so let's keep going right here, as you see more characters, as a character right here, begin battle, <clears throat> excuse me, now here's a kicker right here, no pun intended, um, you see a character here with the Trunks uniform on. Of course, he has a symbol right here and a sword back here. Not really showing if he can see it or not. I also noticed that most of the characters here have tails. Despite the fact that Trunks in the uh, anime did not have a tail. Um, no, none of the Trunks had a tail. So, with that being said, does that mean that you can only choose a Saiyan? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just looking into that. Um, you also see him fighting Ginyu. So... That's one thing you might want to look at as well. Also, look at the animation, which actually isn't that bad at all. You know, definitely looks pretty good, right? You know, at the same time, remember, this is the Golden Monkey. So, if you had any terms of where um, Dragon Ball Z was, um, to where this particular game was going to end, was going to end during the, um, during the Saiyan Saga or whatever, whatever, you actually know it's going through GT. So, now use signature skills here. 
which is all right. So you see him doing what move, what animation move, which might be Goku's um, meteor strike thing he does, I think. Now, you also see a character here in a modified color Saiyan um, uniform here, pink and white, whatever, fighting against Android 17. And then you also see um, this other character that we saw before against Android 18, which is actually pretty cool too. Uh, one thing I also want to show you too, now you actually see this guy, this Goku looking like it's fighting Krillin. But then, sorry about that, once again... <laughs> So as you see here, uh, I'll show a little more animation. I do like the animation. Um, so you got the animation fighting doing pretty well here. But then at the same time, I want you to take a look right here. Now you also see that this apparently is some form of a close-up or maybe like a dynamic event kind of thing to make the game look really good here. But then you also know that the damage that Krillin is taking, which basically means that um, uniform and physical damage is back in the game. So then you got the character here that looks somewhat like Goku but isn't. But then you have uh, where you get the actual super attack right here. Now I'm not so many, I'm not sure I'm, me, I'm not sure how many super attacks you have or whatever how it's modified. But um, I will show here's a couple of um, attacks that you have right here. Also, if you look in the background here, you'll see that a character, another modified character, actually well not modified, but another char custom created character actually has Go um, Piccolo's or Gohan depending on how you look at it, but his cape right here. So seeing that I'm a big fan of the cape right there, I'm definitely gonna be rocking that. So. Let's keep going. As you see here, he has a special attack here. Now, I'm not 100% sure of the color of um, the special attack, but this special attack actually belongs to Yamcha. So if you guys remember offhand which color um, was his energy ball attack, I think it was yellow, but um, if it's not, then yeah, apparently you get the chance of color. If it was, then there you go. Um, also, I want you to take a look at this some for a second here too. If you actually look at this um, color, notice how it's also doing like a visual effect as well. See? So like a heat kind of effect there. So, you know, definitely looking good here. Um, some other more attacks going on right there. More attacks. I think that was Broly attacks right there. Uh, the one-handed Kamehameha. And then, here's one kicker right here. As you see here, he's actually uh, glowing yellow right here. And his suit is a lot brighter right here. Now, mind you, we can go back into the past right here. Take a look at here. And as you see right here, uh, this was the same character. His uh, key, um, his key, yeah, was actually yeah, um, white, rather. So, that definitely brings on, can you turn Super Saiyan? Can you create a custom created character that can turn Super Saiyan? That is not 100%, but, you know, it does look like it from this end. You know, hopefully, or maybe not. I'm not really sure just of yet, but we'll definitely um, keep a lookout for that. Uh, found final animations for the character for the game here. This game is looking very good. If you go down to the bottom of, uh, in the description area, I will have um, a pre-order link going to... Um, what do you call that? Amazon.com. You guys can definitely check it out. It will be released on October 28th, 2011, which is right around the corner. Um, definitely go ahead and pre-order the game. This game is definitely looking good. I'm going to pre-order it. Not sure which console I'm going to do it on yet, but I'm definitely planning to go ahead and pre-order it. You guys have a good night. Zeph out.